Warning, this channel is meant for viewers 21 plus and was created for educational and documentary purposes only. Beginner Buzz does not condone illegal activity and certainly does not sell anything. So don't even ask. Seriously. How's it going everyone? It's an exciting day here because we are shifting everything around again. It's time to finally get things ready for a developing style by setting up our perpetual grow. So get in here. We'll show you not just everything we did, but why. Can you run it up? Hey guys. At this point, you know we're trying to make this our full-time jobs, but YouTube is, well, YouTube when it comes to cannabis. Despite this, we continue to find ourselves surrounded by nothing but love and support from this community. If you did want to support the channel a little more, the best way to do that is through our Patreon. With a private Discord, additional in-depth videos, Patreon-exclusive merch and live streams, or even the chance to smoke face-to-face -face with the buds, every tier gets something. The amount of support we've already received has been absolutely mind-blowing, but we wanted to take some time out to show our appreciation for our newest patrons. So, a big shout out and an official thank you to... We love you guys, really. All right, let's get back to it. All right, guys, so first, just want to say thank you once again to each and every one of you as we have officially hit our 100,000th subscriber. We couldn't be more thrilled, and of course, we want to give back to the community, so make sure you stick around to see how to enter to win a Mars Hydro FC6500 as the instructions are at the end of this video. As for us lately, things have been changing, but hey, that's how the entire learning process works, right? You make better decisions to the best of your ability at that level to which you've learned. Fuck ups teach us why we were wrong. We adapt, make changes, understand better, and the plants look better. Or that's the way it should go. And that's how we're seeing it going. So in order to adapt with what we want our plants to look like and what we've learned thus far, we need to do things differently. What does that entail? Well, that's exactly what this episode is all about. For one, we got a new light, the Mars Hydro FC8000. We just dropped a video on it, specs, par reading, intensity suggestions for each stage of growth based on three pretty standard hanging heights. Everything. If you haven't, go watch it. We'll link it below as always, but yeah, got a new light that is officially making its way in. But where? Well, let's take a look at the way things are right now. As you can see, we got our 4x8 on the right and our 4x4 in dry tent by dry tents that is a 2 foot by 2 foot tent. The 4x4 on the right is our veg tent holding two lights, the Mars Hydro TSL 2000 in the front and the SP300 in the back. For those that haven't watched some of our past episodes, we've officially lowered the light intensity of our TSL 2000 to 150 ppfd as it reads on our Apogee PAR meter. This is where we do our germination. Thanks to Mars Hydro, we have a huge new heat mat that allows us to utilize the whole area under this light. Now meaning A, the plants can be further apart, and B, we can germinate more now, at least comfortably. In the back, the SB300 is set to, well, it's set to about 500 ppfd right now, but ultimately we'll be able to change this light as the plant makes its way through early veg to late veg, and even maybe pre-flower. But this brings up another point. If you haven't heard by now, we'll be officially starting to official seasons for our next upcoming YouTube season, meaning we'll fill a 4x4 area with four plants. Our new schedule accommodates both autos and photos and just allows us to better control the lights through veg and flower individually. As it stands right now, we can only hang our lights at one height and one intensity. 
This means that depending on a few factors such as strain, phenotype, and age of the plant specifically, the canopy can be at any distance from the light at any time in our tents, meaning the lower plants suffer under lower intensity lights. It's just not ideal. Add to this in here that PPF ranges from 700 PPFD in early flower to 800 or 900 in late flower and really 1000 or 1200 at the max which is ultimately what we're trying to get and the whole thing becomes a nightmare because plants need different amounts at different times and each plant is a different size. We think you get the point. It's just not as efficient as it could be. Instead, what we'll be doing is filling a whole 4x4 area with the same plant. That way, if the breeder did his work right, they should all be the same size. We plant at the same time so we will remain in the same stage of growth, ultimately meaning we should have a uniform canopy that allows us to customize PPFD for these plants in the most efficient way we've ever grown. It's going to be a learning curve, but it's got to be done, so we're going to have fun with it and do it right. All right, let's get back to the map. We got the 4x4 on the left that used to be our veg tent. Well, it's going to be the new home for our FC8000 as it's now our flower tent for photo periods. What this allows us to do is have this tent on a 12 hour on, 12 hour off light schedule. The 4x8 on the other hand is going to be run 18 hours on, 6 hours off. For one, the right side of the tent the lower half of the 4x8 on the map there is now our germination and veg area. As this needs an 18.6 for either photo periods or autoflowers in this stage, so it's perfect. Germination and seedlings will love their low, gentle PPFD at 150 under the TSL 2000, and we can adjust the PPFD as the seasons transition into and through veg by dialing up the light as they grow. We should see numbers ranging from 250 to 650 PPFD here. From there, photo periods are flipped to their 12-12 cycle on the 4x4, or for autos, they head to the other side of the tent. On the map, it's the upper half of the 4x8 to the right. For us, it's the right side, but either way, auto flowers will go through flower under the FCE 8000 here. Humidity in all the tents will be about 50% to prevent mold, and it's the best compromise we could find with everything we wanted to incorporate into our grow. The only thing that might suffer is the seedlings and plants in early veg, as humidity is a little low for that, and thus not quite ideal. We might supplement with a small humidifier on that side of the tent, but we haven't made the decision just quite yet. So, since the new tents, things have been kind of empty or not as homey as we're used to or like whatever <laughs> we're missing our homies in here so you know we had to throw up some slaps for decoration and love bought a crap ton of ac infinity's new six inch oscillating pole fans for better more precise and controlled air movement featuring 10 different speed settings in our tents we threw those up with relative ease just need a few extra surge protectors for the new incoming plugs but guys we gotta say, $400 on fans, and no slaps AC Infinity? <laughs> Beyond that, it's hard enough to get your hands on these things. We ended up getting lucky and must have ordered at the right time because nowhere around us has had anything in stock, and the closest hydro store says they've been waiting on their order to be fulfilled from back in January. I mean, I guess we won't rock their slaps in our tent, but get your shit together, AC Infinity. <laughs> Grow with the demand, fulfill that before dropping new products that aren't going to be in stock anyways. Phew! <laughs> okay, rant over. Like we were saying, the flowering half of the 4x8 should top out at about 800 PPFD as autoflowers are used to lower intensity light over longer light periods. Either way, we are set to rock. Only thing we need is some dirt, so that's exactly where we're headed next. Like we said at the beginning of this episode, we just hit 100k subscribers, and you guys, I mean, wow, that's incredible. We just want you to know how thankful we are for each and every one of you. With just that in mind, we wanted to give a little something back as our way of showing a little appreciation and partnered with Mars Hydro, offering a FC 6500. Fits wall to wall perfectly in a 4x4, but rated for tents as big as a 5x5. This beauty comes off of Mars Hydro's top line with their highest quality bulbs made by Samsung. 
It's done great for us and we know it'll do big things for one lucky person. Rules to enter as always are simple. You just have to be subscribed to both Beginner Buds and Mars Hydra on YouTube as well as leave one comment featuring that FC6500 to be included. Feel free to tell us why you'd like to get in on the light and what you've noticed it doing well in our tents. Or heck, anything you want. Just make sure you include the name of that light, the FC6500, in your comment to enter. We'll announce the winner next Sunday, and until then, keep learning, keep growing. Catch you later, guys.